Well, welcome back, ladies. So, but today I'm gonna go over 80 free player non member armors that you can get right now. Let's get into it. Okay, so, uh, I'm not going to show you how to like slash join every map and go to it because it's literally 80 different armors and if we would be here for hours if I was going to show you the location in game of 80 different armors. I will leave links in the description to every uh, post I show you but uh, this is all be from the wiki. The wiki is a very good tool if you're looking for armors and I went through and sorted through all of the posts for free armors and I only picked the ones that I thought look good or that people would like to use. Uh, so let's start looking at those all right let's not waste any time the first one is the one dimensional armor i picked this because it's just a funny looking armor and it's a one percent drop off the sketchy dragon in slash join j6 okay the second armor i chose was a friend of a friend and it is from friend gems in battle on that's how you get it the absolute zero armor can be acquired via yokai rep uh and here's the female and male version of that now, while I'm not a fan of goat hooves on my armors, uh, I'm sure someone would find a use for this armor and uh, it drops from the hive. Pretty easy to get. Drop right there. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but some of the armors are seasonal, so keep that in mind. This is the first one and uh, you can bookmark this and grab it at New Year's uh, for just a few evil defender badges. The Aquamage armor, uh, female and male versions right there and uh, you can get that for alchemy. Archfiend Doomlord, uh, probably one of the better armors on this list, and uh, there's a female male version, you get that from the Enough Doom for an Archfiend quest, it's also a really cool female helmet from that quest. The Armor of Awe, uh, I actually attempted to farm for this once, didn't go so well, I might <laughs> pick it up later and uh, finish off farming for it. It does, uh, keep in mind this does actually give you a 25% boost to uh, rep gold and XP, so it's actually a functional armor along with a good looking armor in my opinion. Assassin of the Sands is from the Sand Sea Rep Shop, and uh, there's a female male version right there. You can get that slash join Sand Sea. Now, I'm not sure if people are really going to use this, but I threw this in here just because I thought it looked cool. Uh, and yeah, that's non member armor, so like half skeleton, half ethereal. It looks really, really cool, and uh, there's how you can get it right there. The Bacon Cat Commander. I actually love this armor because it's got a cat on the uh, shoulder and on the. There's cats and bacon all over this armor, you know, just everywhere. Female male version, that's for rank 10 in the map, Bacon Cat. Now this armor drops off a few monsters in Blackhorn Tomb. It's the Blackhorn Runes armor. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. The blue and black design looks really nice. This is from a more recent event uh, at the time of recording this video, but I still think it's a really cool gold armor. And you can get that with the Lumen Badges at Celestial Arena. Blood Guardian is also a recent addition to Adventure Quest Worlds. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to go rare or not, but right now it's available for free players, so grab this while you can. Although, I'm pretty sure it's not going to go rare, so that's why I'm including it in this list. An old armor, but still a good one. Blood Ninja, you can get that in the Yolgar shop, female and male version right there. Blood Paladin armor, you can get this as a drop from Slash Join Lust at the boss. And uh, yeah, it's really cool looking armor. Both directions, the groupie armor can be acquired at Yolgar. I chose this because it's a funny armor with an arrow on it. I don't know. And I do like clothing armors. Armor that looks like real life clothing a lot. I have a uh, spot in my heart for those kind of armors. So I include that in the list and it's pretty easy to get at uh, Yolgar Inn. The bride and groom groupie armor. Pretty cool looking armor. And uh, yeah, you can get that for 200 merge items and 15k gold. Pretty easy. Another rep armor, this one from Bright Oak, and uh, yeah, it's just a cool looking armor, and you can grab that for rank 7 and a little bit of gold. This one's going to be one of the easier armors to acquire in this list, only 35 Mirror Realm tokens from Mirror Realm, and yeah, it looks really cool, nice gold and blue armor there. This has been one of my favorite armors in the game for a long time. I think it looks better on male characters than female characters because the female armor looks nothing like the male armor. You can't even tell that they're the same. I really wish they made a female version of this armor because this armor looks like a completely different armor. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to rage about that in this video. Uh, you can grab that at Pyramids from the Anubis Death Guard or the Mummy. Uh, just farming the mobs in the first room will get you this armor and it's really badass. I wish they would make a female version of it, please. This armor is only 5k gold at Dragonhaim, and uh, there it is, a little pretty cool looking armor. Another rep armor, I'm sure you guys will farm in rep, 
and uh, there it is. It looks really nice, and it's a female-only armor, so if you're a male character and you want to look like a female character, go right ahead. You can get this armor from the map New Finale. It's a nice purple and black armor, kind of like Joker colors. And uh, you could cover up your face with a different helmet. Some helmets in the game let you cover up your face, and that's why I put this armor on the list. The skin's that color custom. Uh, but I'm sure if you covered your face on this, you could actually make it look half decent, and it's a cool looking armor for non members. Now, this is a class armor, but it's the Chaos Rogue class armor, and I think it looks really badass, so I included it on this list. If you didn't know that was in the game, now you do, and uh, you can grab that from one of these maps right here. It looks like there's a lot of maps, some of them are rare, but you can grab it from one of those maps uh from the same class but a different armor the, this is one of the classes that has different versions of the class but they're all the same and different versions of the armor uh but the class is the same for every version and this is the chaotic mage so female male version right there pretty cool looking armor okay for some reason i wanted a spree of class armors right here a cryomancer class armor another cool looking armor and uh of course that's for the cryomancer class cybernetic endowments uh it's only 3,500 gold. You do have to do a quest line to get to the armor, but it's a really cool looking male and female armor right there. I remember this being the first armor I ever looked up on the wiki and went and grabbed. And it's from Doomwood. Uh, it's a Doomwood rep armor. It's only rank 3, so really easy to get. Uh, but I think it's a badass looking armor to this day. It's one of the older armors in the game, and uh, it's one of the first ones that I actually looked up on the wiki and found. So, really cool. The Dark Wave Dancer armor is uh from a merch shop and you can grab that it's pretty easy to get some just some glowing pumpkin seeds another great armor the dark wave outfit drops off the this monster right there now this is one of the first armors i ever farmed reputation for it's a tron inspired armor of course it's only yellow it's not color custom i don't think they ever made a color custom version of this armor and it's the rank six in chronos banner really badass armor this armor is from the location wheel of love and uh, there's male and female version of it. It's AC tagged, so you can store in your bank for free. It's pretty cool. This armor is from the map Doom Kitten. Uh, Doom Kitten's the boss. It's just a map with, that only has a boss in it. So you slash on that map and farm this armor off of the Doom Kitten. Doom Fire of Gravelin. Uh, this armor right here you can grab from the Gravelin's Doom Fire shop at Throne of Darkness Hub. More armors from the Mirror Realm merge. We have. Uh, this one and this one, uh, they're both from Mirror Realm Merge at Slash Join Mirror Realm and uh, you can get them just by farming. Pretty easy, pretty cool looking armors. Dungeon Defender armor drops off of the Kilek Dead Chewer. Uh, female male versions, really cool looking armor there. Now this armor isn't completely free but Evolved Blood of Nalgath is really badass looking armor and I thought I'd include it in this list. It's not free, you do need some other stuff to get it but uh, I still include it in this list because for some reason on the wiki it's listed under free player armors so maybe they'll fix that, maybe they won't. I don't know, but uh, it's here and uh, you can, if you want to get that, you might have to pay a little bit of money but it's there. Extinction Survivor Armor. This is an armor I didn't know about before uh, doing research for the video and it actually looks really cool. So you can grab that at the Extinction Games merge at the map Extinction. Finals Armor at the which is another merge armor and uh yeah you can get that up there fire knight ember seed gear uh 75 75 thousand gold not too expensive but uh, not too cheap either and uh, this armor just looks really badass frost ninja another seasonal armor uh just 25 souls pretty easy to get and that comes out of a frost veil all right, at this point, I'm going to stop explaining how you get the armor so you can just read it on the page there. Uh, I feel like it's slowing down the video and there's 80 of these armors and I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. So there's the armor, female male version, looks really cool. Galactic Treasure Hunter, female male versions, that's really badass. Korean Screamer armor, uh, if you want to be iDubs, I'm gay. Hidden Chaos Rogue, fully color custom armor and probably one of the better armors on this list. Infernal Lieutenant, uh, no female version of this, looks badass though. J6, or J5 Tournament, not J6, it's the a younger version of J6. Lazy Summertime, female and male versions there, this armor is fully color custom. Nalgath Armor of course, from the Juggernaut items of Nalgath. Legion Soul Stealer, there you go. This armor right here, uh, pretty cool. Female female male versions look completely different but uh, that's okay the nation soul stealer armor neon red shadow uh it's a new year's armor so it's seasonal but uh, really cool armor nonetheless 
Obsidian Arch Paladin. Really badass. I actually had this in my inventory for a long time and only recently deleted it. The only armor you need if you're a non-member. Kappa Kappa. The Pink Wedding Guess. Really badass looking armor. The Pokey Trainer Armor. And there's three different versions of that. The Pony versus Pony shirt. Just thought that was a really cool uh, shirt. I don't know. The Priest of Holy Fire, rank 3 Ever Storm. The Purple Wedding Garb. The Queen of Hope Armor. If you have a female character, that could look pretty cool on it. I didn't know this shirt existed before recording this video, but it's the Quibble shirt, and that's pretty badass. The female version looks a little, little warped compared to the male version, but yeah. Red Wedding Guest, which may also be a Game of Thrones reference. I'm not 100% sure, but there you go. The reverse mer person, <laughs> pretty funny armor. Revenous, royal attendant. The armor for Scarlet Sorceress class. Sparring suit, actually one of the more cooler armors on the list, and it's pretty easy to get too. Just drops from a monster. Another one of those cool ethereal armors. You can grab that. I see a lot of non-members with this. It's pretty. This is probably really easy to get. Uh, Sasha and Artist Alley. And it's actually really easy again. I see a lot of non-members rocking it. The ugly Christmas sweater. Can't go wrong with that. Now this would be a cool armor if you covered your face. Of course, the undead ninja armor. I think the female version looks really cool on that one. The vampire, the vampiric knight. Very cool. Very. Void monk of Nolgath. Void paladin. And last armor in the video for number 80, we have Warlord of Nolgath. This is my favorite armor out of every armor I found on the wikis, so I thought I'd put it in last in the video. And it's the Fain Days Morph. You get that as a drop off. A monster has a million health, but probably worth it. I would get a team to go and farm that dragon and uh, grab this armor. All right, that is every armor in the list of 80 armors I could find. That's literally every cool free player armor that is non-rare. Uh, so if you like the list, leave a like. If I missed any armors that you think should be included in this list, keep in mind that these were all non-rare. So uh, that was taken into account when I was choosing these armors for the video. Uh, but if I miss any, leave that in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys. Peace.